Hello, it's Andrew Andrew from Android Central again. Um, this one is this little video is going to be on how to update your Verizon Galaxy Nexus to 4.0.4 .4 using the unofficial over the air package that was leaked uh, earlier this week. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to this this link right here www.androidcentral.com slash Verizon dash Galaxy dash Nexus dash Android dash 404 dash OTA dash package dash now dash available if you can't read it um, this one has actually the the link you're going to need to either follow the directions don't follow these to a T because they're not actually correct um, but you can get the download of the over the air package um, once you have that downloaded you're going to need to put it onto the SD card of well the pseudo SD card of your Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Um, I renamed it to update.zip and put it in the root of the SD card, but it doesn't really matter. You can download it directly from the phone and it'll put it into the downloads folder. You just need to know exactly where it is later for a step when we go into uh, Clockwork Mod. Now, in order to do this, you need to have an unlocked uh, bootloader on, and a completely stock recovery installed on it. While we will be booting into Clockwork Mod, it's not the exact same thing. You need the you can't have Clockwork Mod replace the stock recovery because you need the stock recovery files to upload update the the package. Um, Clockwork booting into Clockwork Mod is a little bit different because now you essentially have two recoveries on the phone, and once you reboot the phone, Clockwork Mod is no longer there. It's just a temporary. Um, uh, recovery. And the reason why the directions don't work on the, the link on how to update it is because it, if you follow them, you download the wrong recovery. The recovery in here is for the, on this link, is for the GSM Galaxy Nexus. We need the, the recovery for the, um, the Verizon one. And uh, one, you can download any of them. I have the Touch one downloaded because I thought it was really neat. Um, once you have that and the SDK installed and all your fast boot files downloaded and everything like that, if you don't have that, go back to previous version, previous my previous videos that, that kind of explains on how to do all of that. Um, once you have that that downloaded onto your SD card, um, it's ready to go into terminal and with two commands, you're ready to go. So open up terminal. And you want to go to CD is changed directly into your SDK, and then platform tools, which is where I have my ADB fast boot and the recovery installed. So now that I'm in my uh, platform tools folder, which is right here, um, I can. Uh, eight, period slash adb reboot bootloader and then my phone is going to be in the bootloader now and then with the next uh, command we're gonna I have renamed the recovery to just recovery.image um, I'll show you it real quick I have re renamed to recovery image, so we're going to type in period slash fast boot boot recovery dot image, and then that's the unlock bootloader sign. So if you don't have that, you know you're going to have to wipe your phone in order to get it. Sorry, but the update doesn't require you to wipe anything. So this is the the touch clockwork mod recovery. Now, if you don't want to um, lose any information, all you're going to do is go down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and let it load, and scroll down to the bottom, and it's I have it there as update zip. If you put it in, if you download it directly to your phone and didn't rename it or anything, it'll be in your downloads folder, which will be at the top. Right. Oh, go back. Oh, downloads. 
Okay, and that's it. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It takes a, a couple minutes to finish updating the radios and installing the system and boot image and bootloader and all that stuff. But once you're rebooted, you have a completely unrooted, but still with the bootloader unlocked, 4.0.4 Galaxy Nexus. And um, to show that, I will type in ADB reboot, and my phone will reboot. And it's, uh, overall, the, I've noticed some improvements. The uh, one, I guess, drawback is that the, the speed on speedtest.net app is uh, drastically slower for LTE. But I haven't had any issues with, like, streaming content. So, you know, I wouldn't really, I, I would hold that with a, I would take it with a large grain of salt as far as that it's reporting a, a decent speed, you know. But, um, you know, overall the improvements have, I, I've been very happy with it. Um, not that I was unhappy before, just, you know, any update that doesn't break anything and adds new features, definitely a plus. So, here, I'll show you the little, the about screen. About phone. And it is 4.0.4. .4. And some things that I've noticed that were added is if you go home, you get these little three little uh, toggles now uh, when you hold down the power button. And then the other thing that I've noticed is in the camera, you get a, a flash status somewhere. Oh, I don't see it now for some reason. Oh, yeah, here it is. You have to have, like, the flash on, but it's now up in the top left corner. You know, very minor improvements in physical appearance, so if you're looking for something completely different, um, not going to see it. One thing you might see is in landscape, the keyboard is pretty quick and responsive now. I don't know if you had problems with that before, but if you did, that is greatly improved. Uh, I don't really type into landscape, so I didn't really notice it, but... There is no lag, so I guess they did do something if other people have reported problems with it. Okay, and that's it. Take care.